Mr. Chamberlain. Yeah, listen, uh, I'm sorry to have to be the one to tell you this, but your suspicions about your husband, Jack, were right on. Uh, he's not working late at the office tonight. In fact, he's with her right now, and it looks like he's gonna be a while. I'm coming right down there. <laughs> yeah. I don't think, uh, I don't think I'd do that if I were you, Mrs. C. I am paying you to investigate, not to give me advice. All right, hey, if you gotta do it, do it. Gave at the office. I need to talk to you, Jack. I don't want anything to do with an embezzler. I'll stay out here all night if I have to. Tell me what this is all about. Oh, come on, Jack. You know exactly what this is about. I'm afraid I can't help you. You dug yourself in pretty deep. What the hell are you doing? Lance, Lance, we can, we can fix this thing. Uh, I'll transfer the funds right into that account first thing in the morning. Nobody has to know. Really? You do that for me, huh? Yes. I don't think so. Of course I will. I think it's too late, Jack. Remember how you're always telling me how stupid I am? Lance. How I don't think big enough? Guess what, Jack? You're wrong. You're dead wrong. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll be right back. I'll move the car around. Body before he ever steps foot in that car again. 